What's up, I'm Don Leak. Ever wonder how players make moves look so easy? Well, check out these few moves I've provided for you. Okay, here we have a move that is surely to get you past the defender. It's called a between the leg crossover. Okay, so on this move, it is mandatory that you plant your foot and show the ball going towards the right. If you sell the fake going towards the right hard enough, the defender will jump and try to steal the ball. This tricks the defender into thinking that you're going towards the right, but really you are crossing the ball over and going back left. Once you see him reach and go for the ball, that is when you cross over and go low towards the left. This next move is very simple. It's called the behind the back crossover. Check it out. For the behind the back move, you have to first dribble towards the defender to make it seem like you want to go right. When going behind the back, be sure to keep the ball close to your body so that you won't lose it on the move. After wrapping the ball around your body, be sure to throw the ball in front of you to lead you towards the basket. If you take your time and perform the move under control, you have a great chance of making the shot. My name is Cooper Land. I played college basketball at Wright State University. I played professionally for five years overseas. So the question is, should guards be able to post up or should guards be able to learn post moves? I always answer yes to that question. Um, I think everybody should learn how to post up. And the main reason being is normally you're being guarded by someone that's similar size to you. So there's no difference from a 6'8 guy posting up to a 6'1 guy posting up because they're both being guarded by guys that are like sized most of the time. Um, and in general, if you're able to post up, it makes you more valuable to your team. You can get points in the paint, can cause mismatch problems. So the answer is yes, everybody should learn how to post up. The, the up and under allows you to do, you come to a stop, um, and then you use the ball fake. So you're kind of using their strengths against them. So if a guy's a really good jumper, you show him the ball, he jumps. Now you've got time to step through and make your move. So it really helps balance out uh, the difference if, if somebody's more athletic than you, you can use their athleticism against them. Up and under move helped me a lot because most of the time the guy guarding me was more athletic than me. So I needed to find a way to beat him without being more explosive or, or even stronger than him. And one way to do that is by changing speeds. Okay, this next move we have here is called the one dribble face up spin move. The one dribble face up move is for posts that are quick on their feet. Once you catch the ball on the block, you turn towards the basket and give a hard jab towards the baseline. When spinning, make sure you keep the ball close to your body and you are low and under control. Any good defender at this time will cut you off. If and when he does, this is when you spin back towards the baseline and you will have a wide open layup. The crab dribble hook shot is perfect for when you are taller than your defender. Once you catch the ball on the block, you will take two under control dribbles towards the middle of the paint. Once you're in the middle of the paint, you can either add a pump fake or go right into the hook shot. And here are a few drills that you can do to improve your ball handling skills. <laughs> 